And we're going live again after our crazy, I don't know, disconnect. I think it was my bad. I think I pressed the wrong button. Usually like the connection is gone, but not this time, not this time. So we're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Okay, so let's go back to our plans today. So today we're picking up requests, okay? Let me put my phone here so I can charge it. Remember yeah, the last time it didn't quite, it died in the middle of, okay, there we go. Let me charge it here. So, so we don't go through the same thing. How is everybody doing? How is everybody? How is your Friday? What plans do you have this Friday? Any plans? Any plans this Saturday, this Friday and this Saturday, this weekend? Okay, let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see, let's pick the first person who is here. Oh my God, we got a lot of uh, requests today. All right, let's go. There we go. Here we go, our first person. We're waiting, connecting. <gasps> Hi! Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Hello. Can you can you hear me? Oh, I think the connection is not a good one. I can see you. Hello. <laughs> oh. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. Let's give it a shot again. This sweet girl. Let's see. Oh, there she is again. Here we go. Okay, she's back. Hi. 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 Oh, I can hear you. How are you? Fine. Thank you so much. What is your name? Calist. Oh, where are you now? In France. Say that again. Oh, I think you're stuck in there. I lost you. Oh, you're back. You're back. Where Where are you calling from? Where are you at right now? In France. You're in France? Yes. That is great. That is great. What plans do you have this weekend? Um, I am not speak very good English. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> I see my family. Oh, that's good. That's good. I mean, I was actually thinking, oh my gosh, what plans do I have? And I think I might, I might go for like a little walk and a hike. I think I need some air, something, uh, wearing a mask. How is the lockdown treating you? Do you start school with the whole deal? Uh, the next uh, the next week, Wednesday. Oh, you start Wednesday. Oh, that's yes. good. That's good. Have you been watching the karaoke? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is your favorite song so far? I love Despacito. You like Despacito? <laughs> I honestly feel like I have sung that song so many times. Like I. I don't know how many times, it, it has to be like over a hundred times. I don't know why, but so I keep telling everyone that if I ever meet Fonsi, which is the singer, we have to do like at least a good three minutes of singing Despacito for you guys. Like at least a good three minutes. I would, I'm like, you have so much pressure right now. <laughs> you have to do this for everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's uh, but yeah, it's, they call it the national anthem. Uh, it's, it's like that good. <laughs> That's good. So you have to ask any questions? Um, yes. My question for you is, are you scared on the set of Fear the Walking Dead with the zombie and the costume? You know, I, I just recently spoke to one of the actors and I was kind of asking what is happening because I do honestly try to stay away from the storyline because Sometimes we have crossover, like Morgan was um, was there and then he, she came here, he came here to our Fear the Walking Dead. 
So I try not to watch a lot of um, the Walking Dead stories because if they ever come to my universe, I don't want to like not like them or like them or be like terrified of them. Or it's like, I, you know, I, I try so hard to just, but I have to admit that there are times in which I try to like, like try to find out what's happening. Like who turned into a weird bad person who, do, you know, it's just kind of like, you want to pick and see who's your neighbor, you know, who's um, what's happening out there. So, so yeah, it's really scary. I mean, I'm really excited for you guys to see, you know, what's been cooking in general. Uh, but yeah, I try to keep myself to a limit when it comes to the Walking Dead universe um, coming here. <laughs> I'm not watching. Ah? I not watch. You you're gonna watch it? I don't watch. No. 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 I'm you scared? scared. Yes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> By the way, is that that does that say dream in the back? Yes. Do you do that? <clears throat> do you put it in there? That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful, Kelly. Oh, that is adorable. I love that. Do, do you do it? And I dream. No, do you draw it? Uh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really, really pretty. It's beautiful. Kelly, thank you so much for singing with us, for being here. Thank you for being part of this community, it really means a lot. I love that you have dream behind you. It says a lot about who you are. You just have dreams. I have like uh, like an abstract thing. You're dreaming and I'm like in the abstract world here. <laughs> uh, you know, hopefully if I go to France to do what I could con or something, you can stop by and we can sing a little Despacito. I feel like every time I meet any of the fans that, uh, that was around throughout this lockdown as a community we have to sing a little despacito uh even though you don't speak spanish i promise we will rehearse a little bit and then you will just sing at least two seconds okay okay <laughs> okay kelly you, thank you so you much speak for french i uh, no, i don't but <laughs> but i tell you one thing i learned last week um hi my name is denai um and I forgot it. So would you please remind me of this? Bonjour. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Denai. Je m'appelle Denai. Denai. See, if I keep, if I keep, we keep doing this, I promise by the time I see you, I'll be like, <laughs> done. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Kali, for being so beautiful and so special. Thank you for jumping in on this uh, call <laughs> and this request. The goal is for everybody to get to meet you and know a little bit of you and every time they see you guys see each other you guys will know a little bit so this is the girl that has dreams in the back mm. <laughs> so thank you sweetheart and we'll sing this pasito if we ever meet i hope i hope we do i hope that the whole lockdown goes away and we just get to uh, meet at some point okay 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 you're very pretty and good luck with school thank you <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is so awesome. It's so inspiring to get to see your beautiful faces. It's fantastic. All right, let's see who's next. Okay. Um so exciting. Okay, let's go into deny news. There's a there's an account called Denai, Denai Garcia News. <coughs> hey, what's Hi! up? Hi! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? What is your name? Because your account name is <laughs> Denai Garcia News. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Uh, my name's Tyler. Nice to meet you. Tyler? Yes, yeah. Oh my God, well, thank you so much for creating that account and keeping yeah, everybody of course. <laughs> uh, uh, very much uh, on their toes. How are you? Mm -hmm. uh, where are you? Tyler. Um, I'm from Connecticut, so nearby New York, East Coast. Okay. By New York, and what? Connecticut. It's like right nice. next to New York. Yeah. How is it going over there with the lockdown? Um, you know, it's fine right now. It's been pretty bad though. Yeah. We'll see yeah. what happens, but. 
Wow. What about you? Oh, you know, it's um, it's getting a little bit better actually. Yeah. We uh, we are actually in the process of hopefully uh, go back to work, which is like a big deal because for the longest time it was like, no, no, we cannot get 300 people together in one mm -hmm. set, with, like walkers and, you know, yeah, I yeah. Mean, only the crew, only the crew is like 200 people plus actors, uh, background artists, zombies, uh, makeup. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like the city was like, absolutely not gonna happen. You guys are crazy. But the fact that we are at least having a conversation of like ways to come back and and how can we, um, you know, just kind of function in a set. Uh, it's it's oh, like yeah. a new, it's like a, a new way to live in a way. So it's like a new way to survive in a sense. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. and I'm I'm just really, really looking forward to you know, go back to work and put some content out for you guys. And, and I'm just really excited that this show is going to air. And I know everybody's been waiting for it. It's been killing me. I'm so usually, excited. Yeah. Yeah. Usually by now, it, it's already out in the world. Like, oh, but it's just so long. I'm like, oh, I can't wait until it comes out. It usually comes out in August, like right after Comic-Con. Yeah, yeah. But this is like the longest that we've waited to, <laughs> to, to for the premiere. I'm like, I can't wait. No, yeah. I so actually Tyler, just do you got... have any questions? I think my biggest question right now is how do you think Luciana as a character sort of reflects who you are as a person? Like, how are you like, how are you different? Something like that. Oh, wow. That is such a good question. You know, if you would have asked me that question <laughs> before the, the, before the pandemic, um, I would say, oh, we're both fighters. Oh, we have a good sense of spirit. But I have to say, uh, with this whole coronavirus and the whole um, lockdown or the fact that we're home all day, and and it was like, it was in a sense, it's like what Luciana went through uh, when Nick dies, that she just oh, like yeah. went inside her. And uh, I have to be honest and say that I being able to handle this our apocalypse and with a lot of with, without ups and downs is because i have lived through this character so much ups and downs of like changing yeah. and adapting and changing and adapting that i in a sense i i have become like oh i, I it could be worse i i always think like oh it could be so much worse and and it's just not fair because uh -huh. nobody should you guys should not think like oh it could be so much worse i mean but i've been living the apocalypse you know for years uh, yeah like pretty much so yeah. in a sense it's like her me living her life has i have been able to adapt in a very um in a very strange way to this new normal and uh yeah. and it and i never and it never happens this way usually how my, the actor's perspective is reflected on the character, but this time it's like her her life has reflected on my new normal, and I and I I've been able to handle it with a lot of with with, with so many ups and downs. Like some people just just like some days it's like I can't even start with this. So I I and you know talking to the fans, talking to you guys, having this kind of moment, it goes down to this is what this is no wonder i picked this career like even uh -huh. through luciana i've been able to connect with you guys you know because yeah. you got to know me through this character so even through luciana i've been able to connect with with this this community uh that i decided to be like okay let's just um let's just sing <laughs> yeah let's just yeah. sing together uh so so yeah that's such a good question but this time around uh, for the first time, I feel like Luciana has saved me in a, in a very strange way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How about you? Um, do you feel like the show, um, since you guys are fans of it, I mean, do you feel like the show, you guys are so educated about surviving <laughs> through television, which is so weird. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can see that. But do, yeah. do you feel like... Um, the show has shown you how to handle things better because you have seen other strings through characters. 
Yeah, I think so. Like in season two, when Luciana was like first introduced with her, um, where she was in the little city. Yeah. I think that's definitely helped. It's just shown like stay calm and also trust what you know and what you think you know. Oh, that's so good. Something like that. You're good, Taylor. You're. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. You're good. Yeah, it's uh, but it's 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 weird, but in a sense, we're so connected like that. You know, yeah. we're very connected. Like, I've never felt so connected to this community, to the fans. And, and I'm, in a sense, I'm very grateful. You know, when hard times happen, right? You have to think, yeah. think of three things. Uh, what's good about it? What's bad? And where's the opportunity to make things better? And, and for me, what's bad about it is like, well, we're going through a horrible pandemic. Obviously, it's like, the worst, right? What's good about it is that yeah. I have the chance to connect with you guys in such a deep level three times a week. I could have never uh -huh. that, been able to because of my schedule. It's just, I could never even imagine that that could be possible. And, and even if I do it, people will be like, tonight, what is wrong with you? <laughs> no, it's really good. Nobody really has really the nice. time to <laughs> hang out with you three times a week. Everybody has to work. Yeah. So, <laughs> we kind of like all at the same time kind of wrap around each other and hugged each other. So that is the good thing. And the opportunity is like projects that come out of it because of you guys. And, and, yeah. and that is so special, right? Like, so mm -hmm. that's kind of like how I divide, you know, the, my life, like what's the good with the bad and the opportunity. And, and that's something I have learned from uh, a great friend. It's like, look at the good, the bad, and how can we get out of it? So, yeah. Um, yeah. Taylor, yeah. it's so great meeting you. I want everybody <laughs> to meet uh, this beautiful uh, community that we have. And, and you know, your account is the Nike Garcia News. When, when I yes. saw it, I was like, oh, this is good. This is good. Mm -hmm. I want to meet this person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you of so course. much for the love and thank you for the support. Um, I'm just really glad that you're part of it. And now I know what you look like so I can be more. <laughs> On point. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be back. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And stick around because we have so much today. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'll be here. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> no problem. So cool. You guys have like literally the best questions ever. Like the best. It's, it's just like, it makes me think, you know, it, it just, when people ask good questions, they naturally would get um, good answers and and that's something i i really i love that it's uh, so thank you tater thank you so much okay so let's see who's next yay all right uh there we go here she comes Connecting, ta-da, it's coming. I love the fact that you guys are all over the world. So I never know. Hi. 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 How are you? Oh my God, I love you. I'm fine, and you? Good, really good. It's so nice to meet you. Where are you in the world? I'm Where? Brazil. You're in Brazil. Oh, I love Brazilian food. I love Brazilian food. Oh, I think you're frozen. Ah, I think you're frozen. Let's give it a shot. Again. Oh my God, Brazil. You see, that's like never expect that in a million years. Let's do it again. Let's give it a shot again. Let's see. Oh my God, I always wanna go to Brazil. I don't know if you guys tried Brazilian food, but it's like seriously one of the best like meals ever had. Like, it's amazing. Okay, where is she at? I don't see her. Oh, there she is, I found her. Let's give it a shot again. I think her name is Aisa. Let's 
connecting. She is connecting. Okay, you're back. You're back. <laughs> Hi. Hi, thank you so much for being part of this. This is beautiful. Uh, nice to meet you. Your name is Isa? Huh? I'm so happy. I love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Do you want to ask? I don't have so questions, but uh, I I don't know how I can say, but, but I love you so much. <laughs> oh, you're so kind and so beautiful. So then I have a question for you. Uh, you have been part of the 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 karaoke's, right? The karaoke's. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, you haven't. I, I am. I am from São Paulo. That's oh no, no, no. But what I mean is like, uh, what I mean is that you have seen the the singing, right? The songs. Yes. So, what's your favorite song so far? Um. Uh, from Brazil, from from, all the, from songs. the songs, yeah. Um, my my favorite song is Despacito. You oh, <laughs> I mean, I but, swear. I mean, this. But, I feel like Despacito is really like, like for real. It's like old yeah. ages everywhere. It's like the hit of the year, and I feel like. We'll be singing Despacito for so long and it will never get old. It will be one of those situations that is like, oh my gosh, how could, how could we get tired of Despacito ever, right? <laughs> Do you start school? Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Oh my goodness. Oh, she went away. Mm. I think I think uh, there was a bad connection. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, the fact that Despacito is like the hit all the time. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty out there. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Okay, let's jump into another another um let's see it, this is so cool like you guys are so cool let's see hi hello hello hi where are you um, Ontario, Canada. Oh, hi. Canada, hi. how is life in Canada right now? Um, it... Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having some extreme heat. No way. How are yeah. you doing? Sorry? How are you doing, Tara? It's so nice I'm that you're okay. here. I'm doing okay. How are you? Uh, you know what? The fact that we're connecting right now on a Friday, it has made my day so nice. It feels good. I love, I, you know what I love about this? It's like I love to sing and I love to chat and I love all this. And I know you guys yeah. are there. But the one thing I love about this, you know, this, I've discovered this, is I get to meet you guys face to face and everybody gets to see your face. And, and, yeah. and the funny thing is that it's so surprising because you don't expect to come up, right? <laughs> Yeah. So I always feel like everybody's like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I was very surprised that you picked me. I don't see my face. So it's like, am I supposed to see my face? I don't know, but I see you though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see me? <laughs> yeah, I, I can see you. Okay. I'm that's like, good. I'm seeing my jammies right now. and My hair is a mess. So it's, it's, I don't like, worry everybody. about it. We're family. It's I what it's all about nothing is supposed to be perfect <laughs> trust me so tara do you have any questions you want to ask me well actually tyler stole my question oh really <laughs> i was gonna ask you that um 
but also I was just wondering like how you're doing during this, you know, these crazy times. You know, um, most of the time, uh, like I was telling Tyler, I, I feel like I have a filter that uh, thinks that, oh my God, things could could be a lot worse. Like right. right away, I think like, what if we don't have technology? What if we have zero connection to the world? Like in the apocalypse, like, like, the, like the story that I've been telling, right? Like yeah. what that happens, what are, how we should supposed to know anything. And, and yeah. I think that would be very, very unsettling. So putting things in perspective in a weird way has helped me cope with this. Right. Uh, you know, I'm really thinking of extremes, like what, like, because nobody thought before the pandemic, nobody thought, oh, there will be a pandemic and the entire world is going to shut down. And by the way, nobody's going to work because if you work, you can get infected. And by the way, um, a lot of people, they're going to be in danger if, you know, yeah. and you have to wear a face mask. Like if you would have yeah. told me this a year ago, I would have been, are you insane? Like, yeah. but you know what? Things happen and it's yeah. really happening. And, and the fact that we have to take responsibility and then it makes me think of extreme. Okay. Things are happening that we never thought it would happen. So what if there's no internet? Like, like let's go into another extreme. And then the fact that we will still have this connection and look at you, you're in Ontario, Canada, and I'm talking to you. And I, everybody's yeah. get to meet you in your jammies on a Friday <laughs> when it's really yeah. hot. <laughs> so it just, you know, it just, that's how I'm doing. I, I just, I'm just taking in the present uh, and I'm just trying to make the present the best I can and and some moments the present living the reality of the present is kind of painful to see you know the real stuff but then yeah. I switch around and I'm like okay how, how can I make my reality right now better and yeah. that's why the whole karaoke's and chat started and it's like I, I want to feel good and enjoy at this moment with everybody three times a week and and that's how I'm feeling. It's just, I feel grateful. I feel lucky, um, you know, ups and downs like everybody else. But mm -hmm. I, in the middle, at the, at the same time, I know tonight I'm going to be thinking, I met this girl in Ontario. I met this person in Connecticut. And I'm like, you know, so it's, it, it kind of blends in with the whole full gratitude moment, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know when the whole thing started, like you're seeing the news and like the grocery stores, the shelves were empty and stuff. It really did feel like the end of the world. Yeah. It was like, it's like the beginning of any apocalyptic movie, right? <laughs> you know, I had these flashbacks because I'm in Austin. I, I went to, um, I, I went to um, the store and I remember when the toilet paper was gone and the paper yeah. towel and the whole deal was like empty roads and stuff. Yeah. People like all anxious and scared. I remember the scene that I went to to get water with Frank Delane with Nick. Uh, that I was like, do you remember those roads uh, in season two? Like it was just like, I don't know why I'm having flashbacks. I mean, I'm not supposed to have flashbacks with the apocalypse. I mean, I could have flashbacks with any movie that has nothing to do with the apocalypse. But when you go there, you're like, oh, yeah. I don't like this. I don't like yeah. this. So, and, and I already talked to the children. I said, like, look, guys, we have to include the paper, the toilet paper in our story. I mean, <laughs> at some point, somebody's going to be like, where's the toilet paper? <laughs> I mean, at some point, we had to just, like, right? Yeah. It's so yeah. funny. <laughs> so I can't even believe we haven't even added that to the story, the whole toilet paper situation. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's that great. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tara, take really good care of yourself. Hang in there. You're like a pro. Me too. <laughs> okay. It's going to get cold before you know it. So I promise <laughs> <laughs> the heat is just going to, we're, we're facing some heat waves too here. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, uh, it's, we just take it as it comes. If we've come this far, we can do it. And you're like, yeah. you're a pro. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much for your support and the love always. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I want to say never stop being you. Oh, you too. You too. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs>
It's yeah. great meeting you. I'm great that everybody gets to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Yay, we got to talk to Tara in Ontario. Oh, you know what? I also love, I love, love, love the fact that nobody expects who I'm going to pick. So I, I love the beginnings that everybody's like, oh, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> it's really cute. It's lovely. All right. Let's see who's next. I promise you that whoever is next is still not going to be ready. So it's so good. <laughs> Okay, let's see. All right. Uh, let's go here. Oh, it didn't go, did it? Oh, it didn't go. Wait, let's do it again. I just uh, picked the person and it didn't said. Oh. It's unable to join. Oh, that's weird. Uh, okay, let's do, let's find another one. Where are the requests? Oh, here they are. Okay. There we go. Hello? No, no te creo. <laughs> no, no te creo. ¿Ves lo que digo? Nadie se le espera y todo el mundo, oh, oh, I love them. The, Dios. Los son los mejores. <laughs> no, 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 no puedo creer. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? How are you, Camilo? Bien, bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, muy bien. I love, I love the whole beginning. It was like I saw computer, keyboard, uh, going up. Uh, no creo. ¿Qué pasó? Ah, Dios mío, no lo puedo creer. De verdad, estoy muy, muy, muy emocionado. Oh, Camilo, un placer, un placer. ¿Dónde estás? Estoy en mi casa en estos momentos, por el trabajo en casa, por el tema de la pandemia. Entonces, pues estamos aquí. ¿Dónde estás? ¿En México? No, estoy en Colombia. Oh, Colombia. Oh, my God. So, Camilo is in Colombia right now. ¿Dónde en Colombia estás? Eh, estoy en Cali, la ciudad de Cali, donde Cali? es la salsa, la capital de la salsa. Sí, la salsa. <ríe> ah, Camilo, ¿qué pregunta tienes? Eh, no, no, pues ya, en estos momentos ya no sé ni qué decir. <ríe> no puedo creer, no de verdad no puedo creer. No puedo creer que Luciana... Que Danay, que le... No, 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 es que eso es increíble. Sí, sí. Justo, justo estaba hablando de eso en estos momentos. Los mejores momentos son sí. los principios. And that, you, you sí, no lo puedo. Like the best. No, no, no. Oye, ¿cuándo vuelven en Fear? Uh, regresamos, estamos viendo si regresamos a rodar uh, en octubre. Ok. Sí, octubre uh, es, uh, estamos viendo, eh, me, me alegra mucho porque es la primera vez que estamos como literalmente hablando de de verdad empezar y eso es como que ah. algo muy importante, sí, sí, so, ah, pero, Dios pero the, la premier, the premier will be in October 11, so, ya, yeah. ya, yeah. ¿Sabes que me encanta Colombia? Fui a Colombia a hacer la... Puedes venir Snipers cuando 7. quieras. Puedes venir cuando quieras, el, la fecha que quieras. Mi casa está siempre disponible para ti. <risa> gracias. Colombia es Colombia. <risa> Muchas gracias, Camilo. Aquí ah. la puedes pasar muy bien. Y sé que te gusta bailar, sé que te gusta todo el tema de la salsa, del reggaetón, sí. todo esto. Colom <risa> Cali está para eso. Sí, sí. Uh, voy a decirlo en inglés para que todos lo sepan. So, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I went to Colombia. I spent, uh, in, uh, I spent uh, two months in Bogota. Uh, and, yeah. I, and then um, uh, I did a movie called Sniper 7, Ultimate Kill, two years ago in Colombia. That is actually now on Netflix. Uh, so I, I, I went there and then when I finished, 
when I finished shooting, I went to Santa Marta. I love Santa yeah. Marta. And then I went Ciudad to Santa Marta. It was so nice. Um, I love the food. I, I love the beach. I, I love the whole... I don't know. I mean, I always think music from, like, you know, um, Colombia. I mean, Carlos Vives, uh, Maluma. <laughs> Maluma, <laughs> J Balvin. Y la comida es deliciosa. It's so nice. La comida... Aunque okay, hay una comida mejor que la colombiana, hay una comida mejor que la colombiana y eso sí lo puedo, tengo que aceptarlo y es la mexicana. La mexicana es deliciosa. Deliciosa, so sí, delicious. Sí. Ay, Camilo, fue un gran placer conocerte. Me El placer es mío, eso. créeme que sí, créeme y créeme que eso fue una sorpresa gigante, imagínate. Anoche estaba viendo, estaba, anoche, estaba viendo la, la temporada 4 de, de, de Fear the Walking Dead. Ajá. Estaba viendo, creo, cuando... Qué pena voy a spoilear a la gente. ¿eh? Cuando mataron a Nick. Sí. Estaba Muy viendo ese capítulo. Muy te vi yo llorar. Y, y no puedo creer que de anoche de haberte visto llorar, de haberte visto en mi televisor, hoy te puedo ver aquí. Y que esté hablando contigo. Es más, que vamos a hacer un screenshot porque al final esto lo voy a... Ay, concha. A ver. Ahí estamos. Tengo que hacer un screenshot de los demás. Okay. Listo, sí. Muchas gracias, Camilo. Soy Oye, te, ma te mandé un inbox. Sí. Te mandé un inbox. Ok, gracias. Listo, un gusto conocerte y un gran abrazo de, de parte mía y a todos tus, a todos tus seguidores. Sigan, sigan, sigan. Sigan en Fear the Walking Dead, sigan en The Walking Dead, sigan siguiendo todo el trabajo de Danai. Para adelante, Ana. Un gran Gracias, abrazo y amigo. espero que esa, esa comunicación se pueda repetir. Claro que sí. Bueno, suerte. Saludos a Wayne Ward. Yes, oh my God, of course. Oh my God, big kiss to Colombia. I mean, Bo Bogotá, Colombia is such a beautiful country. It's such a beautiful country. Guys, I think that you guys are you guys are going to learn how to speak Spanish at some point. I mean, seriously, because it's like so good. All right, who's next? Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. I, again, I love the beginnings. Beginnings cannot be better. Let's see. Okay, I have accepted uh, a girl named Pia, P-I-A, and it says that it's not available. So I don't know if you have to do something in your settings that um, that you have to, I don't know. Um, all right, so there we go. Our next guest. Hey. Hello, <laughs> look at another great beginning. <laughs> Hi. What you, hey. I can't see you. I know. Oh, hi. Okay. So, um, how are you? And what is your name? Good. Huh? Um, my name is... Well, I can't tell you all that, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a question you want to ask me? Uh... No. No? <laughs> okay. So okay. uh, I'm, finish, I'm finishing to get I'm finishing to get off live. Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I guess we had to get out of live. I don't know what happened. All right, let's go. Our next guest. <laughs> this is fantastic. I mean, we just don't, I love I love the beginning. Hi! Hey Capricorn. Hi. Hi. How are you? I am great. I have seen your account so many times. I want to know your name. What is your name? You're so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. You're you, you're too. I'm French, so <laughs> my English is bad. Um, you're good. My name you're is good. Nelly. Spanish, French. We we tried all that. <laughs> so what is your yeah. name? Lo Lauren. Lauren, nice to meet you. I'm Denai. Yeah. Welcome to the community. It's so nice to see your face. Thanks. I actually Thanks. love the little posts that you make after the lives. I have posted so many. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes, of I'm course. So it's, it's so, it's, it's just the best. This is like 
one of my favorite uh, things to do is just connecting with you guys. So do you have any questions? Well, um, I've got only one. Okay. Um, what is the one of the best things when we are actress? Uh huh. One of the best what? things when I'm acting yeah. or as an actress? Yeah. Both. Okay. Um, you know, as an actress, I one of the one of the things that I thought it was very magical is that um, you get to live different kinds of lives. You, yeah. You know, sometimes uh, you get to live a life that happened a hundred years ago because the story was like back in hundred years ago, and you get to wear clothes that are not today's clothes you get to wear long dresses it, you know sometimes like you get to be full of blood <laughs> and, and 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 you get to live a different kind of lives uh like in luciana i, I lived in the apocalypse uh and i have learned survival skills and 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 then i have lived uh characters that are from back back and 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 they're so different. Everything is so different. I mean, it's never the same journey when it comes to acting. Every character, every movie, every show, it's never the same. So if you ever, if you can think of something that, imagine going to work every day and it's always completely different. It's, it, that's what acting is for me. And, and every, every movie, everything is like a complete new universe with a new set of people. And, and... So for me, it changed my profession, changed me a lot because it made me look at a wider, uh, wider view of the world uh, and also yeah. the past and also the future. Like you, you see movies like Star Wars, right? It's science yeah. fiction. It, it's not real. It's like a fantasy world that you create. So it just makes you, my, your imagination bigger and, and you get to really be a child kind of like in a way, right? Like. Even me now, I, I, I kill zombies and I'm like, I can't believe I'm killing zombies. Like, this is something little kids will like do. Like, oh, you know, but this is something that, yeah. um, that when you get to do that for a living, it's, it's just really special because every project has its own magic and, and you get to be touched by that magic all the time. So it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'd really love to be an actress, but... Well, why I don't, don't think you start? I've got... Why don't you start? I mean, everything, yeah. it's like you have to, you have to take a step at a time. You know, uh, I think you should just try to take a theater class and see how you feel. Uh, I mean, I think in life, you shouldn't think things too much. You know, you don't, don't think too much things. Just give it a shot. To just take one class and see what happens. And then if you like it, go again and then go again yeah. and then you know if you want to really be adventurous just say hey i'm gonna try acting for three months what's the worst yeah. that could happen nothing uh you're gonna learn you're gonna have fun and you're gonna like it or not like it but it will be your experience and and yeah. and just know that if you have that inside you that you want to try it just do it uh do it for a month do it for two months and then do it for a year. What, what, you know? I mean, what's stopping you exactly? I was shy when I was chill and I'm still shy, but it's going better. You, you were sad because of what? No, not sad, shy. Oh, shy. Me too. Yeah. Me too. You too. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, um, and, and that's my mom, actually, when I was little, the reason why she put me in dance is because I just wouldn't talk to anybody. And she's like, maybe if you dance, you will know that you're actually flat. <laughs> and, and, and I, and I, I, and it worked a little bit by acting. Um, I, you, you know, you're really, channeling somebody else's life you're not being yourself yourself you know so okay. acting is a way for you to talk in a way that you're not you're not really talking you're saying somebody else's words 
So you can yeah. actually work yourself around it. Uh, my advice, try it for one day. Really, just, just as an yeah, exercise. Because you're not, you're not going to be just by yourself. You're going to have somebody with you. You, you, you know, you, you, it's, it's, a, it's a group of people, right? And, uh, and I think in life, it's um, the moment you go to the first class, if you like it, your, your passion will be stronger than your shyness. You know, yeah. you're, you will go back. And then that means that you're, you're choosing to be stronger than being shy. And then little by little, you'll be moving forward and then you will still be shy, but you're able to release that through, through this class. And, and whether you decide to be like an actress or not, it's, it will be up to you. And, and, and that is the best part, you know? But the most important thing is that don't ever let your shyness stop you from doing anything. Uh, it yeah. is super important. So my advice, try once, see what happens, and then go again. And then it's, 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 it's gonna free you. And then you will realize, you know, I'm still shy, but it was not that bad. <laughs> people, people are like really afraid of that. I was shy too. I mean, even today, if I think that I have to act in front of a bunch of people, I can't, I just can't do it. I, I get frozen. I, I'm, I, I just don't like it. But, but then because I kept doing it, then I overcome that. So don't don't worry don't let the shyness stop you just try no. it and then let me know okay because i know you <laughs> i know you're capricorn girl <laughs> so uh it's so worth it i promise and let's do a screenshot um okay are you ready mm, yes yeah. okay one second let me put this glass here there we go <laughs> You see, you're not that shy. You're here talking to me. <laughs> Hello. You see, you're not shy. You're here talking to me and everybody's listening to you. You see? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. I don't know. Thank you so much for being part of this. Thank you for asking this very personal question. Please go to the first acting class and let me know. I will keep an eye on you. And uh, don't let your shyness stop you. Uh, you are going to overcome it. You're very beautiful. And I feel like um, it will do you really, really well to give it a shot. I promise. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Have a you too. You too. Have a nice day. Oh, you're so cute. It's so adorable. I love it. You know, Everybody thinks that because we're actors, we're not shy. Uh, because we expose so much out there, you think, oh, there's no way I could do that. I'm so shy, or I don't have a memory, or I can't remember things. But the truth is, is that actors are very shy, um, extremely shy when it comes to crowds and all that. Most of the time, I'm like terrified at Comic Con, by the way. Like right before, if somebody could have a camera and record actors before walking to stage whole age. Uh, I mean, seriously, the amount of crap that we go through is insane. So my dear Capricorn dream girl, um, if that makes you feel better, you should know that, that we are also terrible <laughs> at this. <laughs> but um, but what we've, we've learned is that we should not let that stop us from growing, from learning. Uh, so yes, not even for a second. All right, let's see who's next here. Uh, let's see. All right, here we go. There we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh my gosh, where are you? It's so red. 
I'm, I'm in my pretty. closet. You are in the closet? <laughs> yeah, because I'm doing school work. <laughs> oh, you're studying? You're doing some work? Yeah. You well, have like a very cozy closet. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. so funny. How are you and where are you? I'm, uh, hold on. Can you say that again, please? Where are you? Where are you in the world? Oh, I'm in Texas. You're in Texas, so we're we're in the same state. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but I'm shaking. <laughs> Where so in Texas are you? Midland. Oh my gosh, how is it going? Are you, are, are, do you start school already? Um, I think we're supposed to start it um, like the 14th maybe. Oh, okay. But like That's when we go there, but we're online right now. Oh, so you're, you're doing, um, so you're like, basically starting school yeah. you already started that's why you're in your closet like you're very yeah. red <laughs> do you actually do the whole thing i want your closet like really like what is happening this is amazing i think it's the it. first time i meet like hey i'm in my closet and it looks that epic it's like wow yeah. <laughs> sorry i don't know what to say <laughs> i love it look everybody's loving your closet at the moment <laughs> Thank you. So what is your name, though? Um, my name's Sarah. Sarah. OK. So do you have a question, Sarah? Um, when, when you're acting, like on Fear the Walking Dead, mm -hmm. do, you, do you, like, get so much in the mindset of your character? Do you, like, think you're actually in an apocalypse? OK. You know, um, when we have, like, um, a lot of background artists, and a lot of like zombies everywhere. Like I'm, I'm talking about serious amount of people that everywhere you look, it's like zombies, dead people, dirt, blood. I'm looking at myself, I'm like a mess. So it gets to a point that you're like, wow, this is really happening. I don't feel like we're doing a show anymore. And then <laughs> the worst part is like, the worst part, actually, it looks very pretty, by the way. Your closet is just like <laughs> the best, the best. Um, but, but you know, it's weird because it's, and then, and then when they say action and everything explodes and people are running and we're shooting and it's for like the time that we are doing this, if I don't really move and, and go from A to Z, it could be like, hey, I could get hurt. I mean, if I don't, if I don't move from here to there and somebody shoots, it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to get shot, but I don't, I don't want to be in the middle of an explosion either. <laughs> I know it's all safe, but it's like, so there is a time in which, yeah, you actually are living that. And, and sometimes we're really not acting. Like sometimes it's really, really cold or really hot. Like, it's like, oh my God, action and it's hot. And it's, it's like, I want to survive this one. I can't wait until this is over today. Like, for example, I don't know if you've seen the trailer of Fear the Walking Dead this year. I, uh, I have like a, a mask, right? And then there's this thing that, that uh, oil that goes up on an explosion. Oh my God, Sarah, that yeah. was such an intense day. Like for real, every time there would be action, I'm like, we're gonna do this again? <gasps> oh my God. And then, bah! like, it's just like all over. I mean, everything you see in that trailer was real. Because the one thing about our show is that we have no green screen, zero. There's nothing green around me ever. <laughs> so that, everything that is, is explodes for real. <laughs> so if you see me running, I'm running for my life. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So I, I would have not be able to run. A lot. I think this kind of this kind of show demands that kind of, um, you know, you you have to put so much out. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it. You have to live those moments. You live them. You have to kill the zombie and do it like you mean it. <laughs> you want to know something? Yeah. I kind of want a zombie apocalypse to happen. What? Um, Why, Sarah? I don't know. I mean, you know why? Because you have the coolest closet. You can just go in there and nothing will happen to you. And we all really should join your closet. Why what did you want a zombie apocalypse though? 
Because, like, y'all look so cool in the show. So I'm like, I think I could pull that off. <laughs> you totally, totally cool. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> what do you think is, how do you, when you said that we look so cool, what is that exactly? Because, I can't say that word. Um, because of, uh, because of the, the gore and the, and the, bad and the intention, the badass intention. Yes, that. <laughs> <laughs> the badass intention <laughs> yeah i mean it's 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 one of those shows that really demands um it demands a lot of energy and and actually when we're on hiatus uh when we stop shooting we really are exhausted i mean it's so tiring and it's because it demands so much energy and i know every time i finish shooting i'm like i, cl I crash i cannot imagine being in the apocalypse full-time 24 hours it's oh. like oh my god i could hit them with this though so. do you play yeah you cannot do that in the apocalypse with zombies everybody's gonna run to you maybe i shouldn't <laughs> oh you want to play something though Ugh. is it oh it'll be too loud in the closet right probably <laughs> yeah it would not be Echo. good <laughs> I don't want to like. Oh my God! Break y'all's ears. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me do like a little uh, screenshot. Oh my God! You know, I missed it. I get so excited that I always forget the the first two per people with the screenshots. I always do. So it's like ah. Uh, but now I'm here. So here we go. Ready? Yay! We did it. <laughs> Sarah, I wish you the best the best this new school year and um i have to say you're like pretty awesome i'm so glad i got to meet you and i'm so glad the entire community got to meet you in that very special spot <laughs> you have like the coolest closet and uh, i hope um you can join me in the apocalypse at some point in some convention i could show <laughs> you how to do some tricks that will make you look badass <laughs> Without the walkers around. <laughs> That'd be okay. Scary if they were. Oh my god! Don't say that. It's so <laughs> much. It's so much work. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being around. Uh, good luck with your school and be safe out there. Okay. Yes. Uh, be safe out there and best of luck to you and stick around. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh my God. So how cool is that girl? She's pretty cool. I mean, the fact that she wants an apocalypse with zombies for real from that cool spot that she is in right now. That's very special. Okay, let's go. Um, I love meeting you guys. I mean, seriously, I keep saying it, but it's pretty special. It's pretty special. All right, let's see. Let's uh, go into all right. You guys are so cute. So many of you. It's like hard to pick. What is happening? There we go. <laughs> I love the beginnings. The beginnings are Hello. the best. Hi. How are you? I am good. How are you? Where I'm are doing you? good. I'm from California, San Maria. Oh my God. And what is your name? Because your name is, Win uh, what is where's the name? Wink, um, Wink Chewy. Wink Chewy. But my real name is George Wink. Okay. Hi, George. Welcome How are you? To, welcome to our community apocalypse. apocalypse. <laughs> Yes, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of yours. I walk I watch The Walking Dead. You know, you do an amazing job at it. You know, my question is to you is what do you think about this black shooting that's going on in this community? What do you think? Do you think it's the best way to boycott films or do you think it's best to you know as you see the NBA players, you know what I'm saying? You see the NBA players what happened to Jacob Blake? You know what I'm saying? He got shot seven times in the back. Yeah. Now, I, I show respect for those NBA players because we need to stop this racism. 
We、I、need、see. to do. We need to do something about it because without because we have a voice. We need a lot of voices to do this. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm what I'm asking you is, what do you think about this? Well, okay.、Uh, I think it's hard to respond. What do I think? I I feel like、uh, already the whole entire situation.、Uh, it's so.、Um, uh, the good thing about this very terrible situation is that people have they have no choice but to pay attention. They have I, no I know. choice but to deal with this. We have no choice but to really. Really, really make a decision. We have no choice but to resolve this situation, and it's time. and And that is the only positive: is that we have no choice. People have. We have to really change our mindset. and And if something, it's it's as disturbing as this is, it happens. So many times to our brothers and sisters out there in this. See what see see what I think. You know, I'm sorry if I cut you off. I'm you know I'm really sorry. But what I think, you know, consider this. What, what if this happened to your family? You know,、totally. what if like what if like what if this happened to your family and you were walking on the street and a policeman shot you seven times because you're because of your color. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and that's not right because you know that's racism. What we should judge is the way they act, not、exactly. the、uh, not the not the color of the skin. Because、yeah. I'm because I'm like I'm like your skin color. I have dark, dark skin color like you. You know what I'm saying. So、mm-hmm. and I have um, I have depression and I have bipolar. You know what I'm saying. So、mm-hmm. every single time when I express my feelings to anyone about what I'm going through, what I'm been through, you know what I'm saying. They always have remarks that says, "Oh, you need to get over this thing." You know, you need a, you need to,、uh, oh、because I, be, because because I lost both of my parents. All right. I lost my mom March fourteenth, two thousand thirteen, and I lost my dad January thirteenth, two thousand eighteen. When I told people this, they said, "Why, God, your mom passed away seven years ago. You should have gotten over this already." And I told them, and I said, "Look, I said, look at this. You know, you can grieve as long as you want." You know what I'm saying? There is no set time grieving. You know, but my question is to you is. What do you like about acting? Like what? Like what is your main? Like what do you like enjoying in acting? You know, because besides besides the earth, you know, besides the role, besides we're in the epidemic, you know, of this COVID nineteen, you know, since you know there's not enough programs, you know, to do it because we're limited, you know,、yes. of, because of、yes. it's COVID nineteen. Well,、so、how does that? How does that work? For you, okay. I first of all, I wanted to say I'm really sorry for your loss.、Um, Thank you so much、uh, for your parents.、Uh, it must be devastating and, and terrible. So I'm really sorry about that.、Um, I feel like you're handling like a pro, and and that is,、uh, it's 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 a journey that I have ex- I have seen people go through, and the fact that you are being open about it to share this with us, it's very brave. Uh, so thank I, you. I like like on the last on the last girl. She said I was shy, right? I'm shy too. You I'm are. Really, I, I am really shy. I'm very shy. Just, like I'm gonna give you an example. One time I had to go to a enter like a convert converse like in a um I had to do an inter intervention with like a hundred people. You know I was like really shy. I was like, come on, man, I really don't want to do this. You know, and they said. You're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. You know these people are not gonna judge you. They're gonna listen to you. And I said, well, you know, like I don't like, you know, like I get stage freak. You know, like I get oh, super shy.、Yeah. You know, I get like, like I start shaking. I start sweating. You know, I start like my heart starts pounding. You know what I'm saying? Starts racing.、Yeah. And, and then I said, so it's kind of like what I'm trying to say is how no, this. Hold on, that, hold on. How, I wanted to, I wanted to answer this very、uh, your specific question first. I know you're、okay. shy. We're all shy, believe me. But yeah, I wanna, yeah. Okay. I think, I think that there's a question here 
that I wanted to I wanna answer. Uh, and I think you will get so much out of it. And so many people are right here in this community that have lost somebody. And, and there's something here, a question that you asked that is very, it's a very important question. No. And your question was, how do I handle uh, all this, right? How do I handle right. uh, my work? Uh, that is like such an intense subject, right? It's, it's called fear the walking dead. We deal with like death, mourning, empathy, the whole thing, right? And also, exactly. and also my life, like I'm a human too. I have all kinds of experience too. So my, my answer to you of how I handle the whole thing is um, acting has taught me empathy. Uh, when I say empathy is... Um, it's, 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 it makes me understand the other, it makes me feel like I have to understand the other person really well in order to interpret it. Like, for example, I don't like when you, when you break down a character, right? Imagine this person kills people. It's super easy to say, oh, she's a bad person. I'm going to play her like a bad person. That's not acting. Acting is when you try to understand why this person does what it does, what, what's the reason, what led her to this behavior. And then, and then once you, you don't have to agree with it, you don't have to like it, you don't have to hate it. But once you understand it, you can perform because you understand that you're not judging this character that somebody's putting at you. So in life, I have learned how to uh, not judge. It's because I, I, my, and my specialty is to understand uh, and, and that is something I have learned as a human through my work mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and is to, is to understand the other side without judging, without trying to, to come up with solutions or be like, oh, don't be like this, don't be like that. It's like, but why? Why? What led you to this? Right. And I think for you, since you're going through like a lot of changes and adapting and all that, uh, try to always focus on the why and don't worry about what people think of you because uh, when you worry about what people think of you it's like it's like me worry about oh this character is good and bad if i worry about whether somebody's good and bad the audience you guys would never relate to me you would never relate to a good person and you would never relate to a bad person you would relate to somebody that you don't have to agree with it but you will understand we have a similar understanding mm -hmm. and that's what empathy is that's what mm -hmm. empathy comes on board. And it's when we are, are actually here open to understand. And, and, and your question is so brilliant because it's, it's, uh, it, it really ramps up what has saved me in these terrible times. And somebody asked me this before and I said, you know, I've been living these extreme circumstances through this character that I always think of what could have been worse, right? But all that comes from an empathy perspective. And, and it's, I feel like the world is going through what we're going through is because there's such a lack of empathy. We, we have lost it. And, and that is something that we have to try to grab. And when you feel like somebody doesn't get that, you just tell them, why don't you try empathy if you don't get it? Why don't you try it? Probably you can shake them a little bit. And, and that is the most important thing. I think that is what this lockdown, this 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 whole being home should be about is to stri try to understand the other side try to understand see, what the people I, that are see, walk, see, walking what, out there. See, what i consider this as a covid 19 is it's getting everybody down it's getting everybody down that's why they're protesting this black matter kept this black matter yeah and, 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 right, and right. just to and, just to and, uh, and just then, to finish oh, i'm sorry just to wrap up that that uh, this answer with the whole uh, Black Lives Matters, it's for the first time we have to pay attention to our brothers and sisters from home. We can't just not practice empathy here. We have no choice but to do this. So if something has to happen out of all of us, it's empathy. We have to develop that within us and understand that life is not about me. It's not about you. It's not about him or her. It's about us. It's about us every day. It's not like today that we're dealing with the pandemic or tomorrow 
when it's over. It's about us. It's about us in this together. And, and that is what, that is the only good thing is that the, the COVID-19, anybody can have it. You don't have to be tall or short or dark or white. It's like, this is a virus that doesn't care. And, and if, you, if we don't understand this, right? If we don't understand how vulnerable we are as humans, then we're missing something. And then people, you will see people out there without a mask. It's like, they don't get it. They, they don't understand that this is about us. It's not about the color. It's not about, if, if children can get it, anybody can get it. And, and that, is, that, is, that is the most important lesson that we can learn through this 2020 is empathy through either through the Black Lives Matter movement, either through the Me Too movement, uh, the LGBT movement, uh, the, the, everything, the, the, the people sick right now, like the entire world, we're in this together on a, on a mission to survive. And I feel like the only way we can get through this is together with our open heart full of empathy and understanding that this is not about me, it's not about you, it's about us. And, and it's that about is, us and it's about everybody around us. You know what I'm saying? It's about us. everyone, everybody around us. We need to get together and we yes. need to speak and, up. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because without that, without, without our voice, we're Nothing not going to get happen. nowhere. Nothing's exactly. going to get fault. You know what I'm saying? So when you ask Thank me, you so much baby, for this. Baby, baby, oh. before, but before, before we go, I got another question. When you ask me, don't let anybody judge me about my mom and dad, I have a very hard time dealing with that. I let that bother me so bad to the point where I want to self-harm. Mm. You know, like I really want to be depressed, where I just want to be alone, where I just don't want to eat, where I just don't want to. I don't want to do anything because I always get judged, you know, and it's not fair, you know, like I have a disability. Well, I'll tell you one you know thing. What I'm th okay, I get, your, I get your question. I'll tell you one thing. Okay, uh, this is a world that we're living that it's unfortunately around people that, you know, either they get it or they don't. And, and unfortunately, we're living in a, in a society in which being judging somebody is the easiest way to just not deal with things, right? Uh, oh, I'm gonna judge you. you are, exactly, but you, but but you, you but you gotta you gotta me, look at finish, it. Let me finish my point so you get what I mean. So it's okay, very okay. easy to to judge, so we cannot go deeper, so we don't deal with it, right? So my advice to you is this: if you feel by any chance judge by anybody because of your circumstances of what you So what, so what did you like you, what did you, you know what you do you know what you do the same way you're like this you turn around and you go in another direction you know why because there's always somebody else out there that will be willing to listen it's our job okay to move forward we have to you cannot get stuck it's you cannot just Act, uh, you cannot just be um, uh, frozen by the action of somebody else when it's mean and when it's evil and when it's wrong. You have to, you have the option, my friend, to walk in another direction, to look for that uh, connection that you're looking for because it exists. I want to believe that this world is full of people that want to connect, but it's our job to look for it. You have to believe and trust that exactly. there are people out there that really will listen and will have a, a conviction in that energy flow that you have. But it's your job to keep walking and keep looking for that. You have to yes. believe it exists. So, yeah, that's, ever that's get, what, that's, so let it affect you and move on. Move that's on. what that's one of my on. friends told me. One of my friends told me that don't let these people put you down. Because yes. what they're doing is th it, they don't want to hear you, but it's make them feel better to judge others. But they exactly. said, don't let that hit. 
he said she said don't let that get to you because she's like i i experienced this before you know i experienced people getting judged i used to yes i used to take so, i used so to take those things here, on heart the goal is the answer is move on that's it sweetheart i have to go to the next person because we're all here but stay right I know. there because i want to take a screenshot okay one second before you go ready that's it <laughs> Hey, thank you, Dana. Friend. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to me. And I, I wish you, I, I, I wish you the best on the Walking Dead. I'll keep watching you, and I will keep following you because you're my favorite actress, you know. <laughs> thank and, you. and and you do a great job on it. So I'm I'm glad thank that you. I talked to you. I'm glad that I spoke up to you because that just took like that made me feel better. You know, just speaking Yay. up to you, and and that just <laughs> made me feel it. like. <laughs> Because that made me All feel right. like, oh, my God, like, oh, my God, someone listened to me, like, for once, you know, <laughs> no, someone understood me for once, you know, to you. <laughs> yeah, all the communities listen to me. And, and I just want to say thank you, guys. You too. Yes. Be safe out there, okay? I will. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's so fantastic. You guys are just the best. Okay, we're going to take one more. I can't believe. I can't believe we just went over time. You guys are just so much fun. Just way too much fun. What is happening? All right, let's see. Just so many of you. It's so amazing getting to know, um, getting to know you guys. It's just so cool. Okay, let's do it. Uh, here we go. Una más, una más. It's connecting. Hi. Hi, Luciana. Are you, is your name Luciana? Yes. Oh my God, that's like one of my favorite names. <laughs> You're my favorite character. Oh really? You know, my, my character's name is Luciana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you doing and where are you? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> where are you though? Where in the world? Um, I'm from Argentina. Argentina. Oh, that's so nice. So do you have a question, Luciana? No, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> okay, I do have a question for you then. So have you been watching our karaoke? Our singing? What? Have you been watching our lives? Yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, what is your favorite song so far that we have been singing in the in the lives? Um, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're like a lot, right? Okay, so another yeah. question I have for you: What is your favorite thing about Luciana? It's so brave. Oh, yeah, it's um. You know, um, one of the re uh, when I first got the role, Luciana, um, I always wanted to play a character that is brave, strong, vulnerable, uh, and and it's um, and, and and is human and and that is fearless. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I've learned about people that are fearless is they have to feel fear and then become fearless so when people think about being fearless they don't think that they ever feel fear and they do the reason why they're fearless is because they feel fear and 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 i wanted to play a role like that and luciana has been a chance for me to to go into that extreme and young girls like you would say i love her because she's brave and that 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 feels very um that that feels very uh touching for me because it's one of the most beautiful compliments i could possibly have and the reason why she's brave is because she's willing to go in so many extremes uh for her truth and that made her brave um so it's really nice qué bonita eres qué tienes luciana um, tengo 13 tienes 13 años ya empezaste la escuela Sí, estoy en secundaria. Oh, wow. Primero. 
qué bueno. ¿Y ya empezaste online? Sí, en principio de año. Acá en Argentina, eh, en Jujuy, estamos en cuarentena desde marzo, así que... Sí, aquí también. Desde, a, desde ahí estoy en clases online. Ay, bueno, pero mucha suerte con tu escuela, ¿sí? Muchas suerte gracias. con tu escuela y con todo, y muchas gracias por estar aquí, muchas gracias por hacer este request y llamar. Eh, eres muy bonita, <risa> así que tengas un año muy, muy bonito, y muchas gracias por ser parte de esta comunidad. Gracias, también. <risa> Cuídate por ahí, ¿sí? <risa> Oh, this is so perfect. I mean, this feels, oh, it feels so special. Um, um, it's, it's just really nice to, it, it, it's so special because you get to talk to so many beautiful people from all ages and places and countries and, 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 and it's, beautiful and it's profound and everybody has like a question and at the beginning nobody knows what to say or what to do um and i i love that i love that so much it's a it's a very uh it's a very special place to be and i'm very um i feel very very lucky and grateful that i get to connect with you guys on a deeper level so this wouldn't be possible without you this uh this wouldn't be possible with your kindness and your love and um, and everything that, that goes with who you are. And, and in, it's just really special. And I wanted to say thank you for the bottom of my heart to be just this epic group of people that want to teach me how to speak French, that want to teach me how to be, <laughs> be, uh, be and, and just getting to know everybody's little faces. It's, um, it's the most beautiful uh, um, experience that I could, anybody could possibly have. It's like buying a lot of ticket and when they call the number you anticipate, how about you? You're not making any calls. We want to see your face, mister. This is a fan that uh, every time that does um, the pictures, it's in this lab. And, and I just love the, <laughs> I love, love, love the, the, the videos all the time. It's just really cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna take one more uh, because, um, because, because yes. <laughs> Hi. Hi! I didn't expect you to call me. <laughs> no, it happens all the time. It's just the best. <laughs> How are you? How's your garden? <laughs> How is your garden? <laughs> My garden is great. Your is great. Yeah. You have so many dogs in the back. Hi. We have three. <laughs> I just saw two dogs come by. Oh, they're probably barking at the cat. <laughs> okay. When we moved here, a cat adopted us. <laughs> <laughs> we started feeding it. It was skinny, so we started feeding it, and it just hangs out in the garden. <laughs> it guards our chickens. <laughs> Where are you, though? Where are you in the world? Washington State. We live in Yakima. Oh, wow. How is yeah. the, how's the whole thing going over there? Um, well, I kind of stay home. Yeah. I stay home a lot. Yeah. I, I'm doing yeah. my part in staying home. I, I go out when we need food for us and the animals, but the animals are kind of taking care of us. We're getting, now we're getting five to six eggs a day. Wow. I, I showed you how little they are. Wow. And you see yes. them grow. They're huge. Yes. Wow. They're getting five or six eggs a day. <laughs> <laughs> I you think need you're eggs. covered. If you want to, we should go all go to Washington State. We'll be perfect over there. <laughs> and we're putting up tomatoes now. Oh, so my God. we made our first peppermint extract, and I'm going to make my lavender extract. That's why I asked you if you got your lavender. Yes, you... I got the lavender. It's downstairs. Yeah. It's been really nice. It's been, yeah. I mean, I want it's, it's kind of growing in all kinds of directions too. If you, if you, um, if you take off the tops, uh -huh. you, it'll grow back. Oh, it'll grow back. Wow. And, you know, that's what you, I love you... about plants. It's like, they just, just keep growing. 
however. Yeah, just don't take off too much. Okay. And it'll grow back. And that way you can have some in your house and your house will smell so good. You oh, can have it by your best. bed. It'll help you sleep. I, I have it right out next to my door. So every time I come in, I'm like, yes, I'll take a picture yeah. and I post it. You will see it. You will know. <laughs> yeah. Every time you brush it, because when I, I have it growing right next to where I mow, when I oh, mow, I'll hit it and the whole yard smells good. <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah. So do you have a question you want to ask? Yes, I do. Um. How many shows have you been on? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I was on prison break right. for a season, two seasons. Uh, I did a show. I did a CSI Miami. I did like an episode. Yeah. And I did a CSI New York uh, with uh -huh. Gary Sinise. That was fun. I right. did um, an episode of Supernatural. That is actually, going, that. To that. <laughs> that is actually that. going to an end. That is actually going to an end. Oh, I know. I know. I love that too. <laughs> oh, man. Supernatural. I mean, unbelievable. I did. Oh, thank you. Uh, Hawaii Five O. Uh, I did an episode of Hawaii Five O. That was fun. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I, I mean, what else did I do, guys? Uh, let's see. Yeah. And that's Are it. you excited? And, You're and, going and back to work? I am. You know, yeah. I am. I was talking to Lenny James, the one that plays Morgan, mm -hmm. and we were kind mm -hmm. of laughing because we don't know. We, we kind of forget. We're like, do we forget how to act? I'm like, is that possible? Like, like if you know how to ride a bicycle and you stop biking, like, do you forget? And he's like, I hope not. I'm like, well, listen, if we forgot how to act, we're in so much trouble. <laughs> are you Are you scared, though, going back to work? You know, uh, they've been um, they've been very careful um, about how the new guidelines, uh, how it's gonna look for, and uh, how it's gonna the set is gonna just be so different, right? Like makeup, right. hair, uh, social distancing, the whole deal is gonna safety, just be. Right, right. So I wouldn't say I'm scared. I'm kind of curious, and I, and I I know for a fact that we're gonna adjust as it goes, like. Whatever people are like, oh, we didn't think of this. Okay, we have to implement this. Uh, and, okay. and so I love that we have an amazing crew and they are like, man, they are so strong. So, um, so I know we're gonna adjust and adapt the best way we can. So mm -hmm. I'm not scared, but I'm like curious to see how we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's gonna, gonna be interesting. The number. Huh? Are they gonna cut down on the number of people so that it's not as many people? In, in a scene together, yeah, I heard that, you know, how we used to have these crazy battles and just so many people. I, I think they're going to try to to just cut down as much as possible. I mean, because we can't just have 700 people in one place like we used to. Right. I mean, this are like, I think we're going to be able to fix it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so so we'll see. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, to the, the whole yeah. thing. Well, yeah. you've been shut up for quite a while in that little apartment. It's been six months, right? You, yes, it's been a long time. This has been like the longest, but you know what? It actually gave me the opportunity to like get to know you and get to know so many other fans and, and just be be here, have this kind of conversations. And, and I don't take it for granted. I feel like it's changed me for the better. I feel like the next premiere that we'll have, we're going to be... Ex we're gonna go through it in, in a very mo in a much more uh intimate way uh it will yeah. be fun yeah it's good it's good are you <laughs> you're very pretty your... i love your hair it's like very oh, thank uh... you <laughs> I, it's down right now it's a mess sorry <laughs> no you're good trust me you're fine <laughs> i love the beginnings anybody's thank like oh my god i didn't know you were gonna pick up like i have pajamas on i'm like <laughs> I love I love that you guys are like so not ready, but you're still like yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I want to request a call. <laughs> oh well, thank you so much, sweetheart, for talking to us and being oh, thank here. Thank you for calling. I was like, oh, one more. It has to be you. Okay. One of us. <laughs> Good okay, luck with your you. eggs and your and your like plants and your little dogs. Uh, you too. Please, please be careful and be safe. And you too. and uh, and we'll be around. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> that is this is so awesome. This is the best. You guys are the best.
Okay, we passed. I don't know how long. It was just like, oh my god, <laughs> Mark Anthony's here. Okay, remember my friend Mark Anthony? Just the best. Uh, he's like, do more of this. Yes, I need to invite you. You have to say hello, Mark. <laughs> uno mas, uno mas. You guys are. Oh my god, can you believe it's been like half an hour over time? This is just insane. Half an hour over time is like a long time. Okay, look who's joining the club now. This guy. <laughs> uno mas, uno mas. <laughs> Hi, Shane. Hola, como, como estas? Como estas? Oh, yeah, I was like, why don't you do a request? You're like one of those that had to do it. I mean, you've been singing, doing karaoke yeah. while you're in the lab. It's yeah. so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is awesome. Yeah. For the second time, I actually met you in um, in Munich at a Comic Con once before. We met in Munich. Yeah, and I got I brought you a, a U.S. Army shirt. Oh, the U.S. Army shirt. Yeah. yeah ah, that's yeah. you. I work yeah. out with that shirt. Yeah, I know it was so awesome. That's why I say you're so awesome. I love. I, I love how you remember you. You you're American, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You were the only American I met in Germany. I, of course, I remember you. You know what happened? I, I didn't recognize you because in their lives, you always have <laughs> like your, your face mask. Yeah. So I didn't know. I didn't know. That's right. We have of to wear the mask. Of course, I remember you. Yeah, we have to wear the mask when we're working uh, to make oh, the no, medicine. It makes sense. So, uh, <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> I, I make, you know, I make medication, so, you know. So where do you work exactly? Where are you? Um, I'm in Fort Stewart, Georgia, which is like south of uh, Savannah. Savannah. Oh, so you were in in Munich just visiting, right? No, I lived there for three years. Like I remember, you were there. You were like yeah. one of the locals. No, well, I drove like four hours. <laughs> I mean, but but the, the locals in Germany, <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you're yeah. four hours. I'm like days away. <laughs> As, you know, I saw. I was looking for like comic cons to go to, and I'm like, I'm not. I don't. I'm not comfortable on the autobahns, right? And then um, I saw you were there, and I'm like, buy the ticket. You know, I'm coming to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you but so much. Yeah, I, just, I do work out in the army shirt that you gave me. I, I have it. I, yeah, I do. Was, that was so it's, awesome. I was like, when I seen the picture, I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, you saw the pictures of, the, of yeah. me working on the army shirt? Yeah, Be because you, you know, know what? You never know how um, people react, like, for military things, you know, so. Oh, you know, I have so. great respect. I mean, okay. my respect goes beyond. Well, I work out because I feel stronger. But you know what's funny? I'll tell you a funny story. I was in Texas mm -hmm. working out with my army shirt, and here, we have a lot of uh, military yeah. people yeah. working out. And I'm, I'm, I was running uh, and there was a girl that passes and she was in the military. Mm -hmm. And she's like, hey, I love this shirt. And yeah. I forgot that I had, the, I, I forgot I, I had the military shirt. I was just like, you know, struggling with my workout. I was like, oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah. And, then, and, the and then she came by. And she was talking to me. She's like, dude, you don't understand. I was working so much the other day. I was like, wow, that's amazing. I just yeah. kept going with the flow. And then yeah. she's like, I love the military. And then I, I realized that she thought I was also the, the same. And I'm yeah. like, oh, you know, that's amazing. I have great respect. I just yeah. kept going with Wait. it. And, and it just gotta... feels like a good brotherhood, you know? Yeah, like when is. you have it's a military a... shirt, it's like... It's... It's a big family. That's like one thing I love about the military is there's like little like racism or, you know, anything like that, because we're all like one color. Like when you're getting like when you're in a situation in the military, you don't care what color person comes to save you. You know, what oh, I'm saying? <laughs> you should sure not care about that. <laughs> so that's 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 why I always have great respect, you know, and oh, that's why. Thank I stay you. Personally. Yeah. Oh, I was wanting to show you. Oh, Let me see. Here. Do you remember that? Oh, I do remember that. <laughs> I sent you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm a big fan. I've been following you for a long time because oh. just the positive energy and, uh, and how everything's like bettering yourself. You know, I'll be at yeah. work and, and, and the music. I mean, I love the, the music, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I get going with my, with my bear dance. I call it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is all this is such a great story that's right i thank you i i was like hey 
you gotta like do a request you're like how i'm like i don't know I well, do let me tell you a funny story like for the first like i don't know how long we've been doing the lives but for the first like i don't know maybe like month i thought you had the request to join the live so i was like requesting i'm not very good at this stuff <laughs> i was like i have to request to join the live just to see them you know the karaoke so no that's you just have to yeah. join um, yeah i didn't yeah. yeah it took me a while to figure that out you know <laughs> well you just know how to make a request i was like oh he's here oh yeah i had boy. to go out and then go back in because that's the only way i know, you know? yeah but, oh yeah. my well let's do let's do a uh, a, a screenshot okay uh, uh, okay ready yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome this is yeah. great okay it's, it's such, i was I, I was gonna like practice my you know i've, I've been learning so, like spanish forever you know habla espanol un poquito um i can i know enough because uh i go to uh, south america all the time right so what's your favorite country in south america uh ecuador the beaches in ecuador, ecuador. Uh, man we uh there's a beach called montanita it's a big surfing uh -huh. beach right yeah, and I just, I just. Do you like to, to surf? Well, I'm a little bit too old for that, you know. My knees and <laughs> <laughs> back in back in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, um, oh my I, god! If if you're up now, I do have one question for you. Yes, please. Um, okay, being an actress, right? Do you find yourself being a people watcher in public? Being a people watcher? What do you mean, like yeah. uh, people like, watching um, me or me watching them? Like you notice how people interact with each other in like social life out in everyday occurrences. You know, one of my, when I used to live in, when I was in LA full time before the pandemic happened, uh, there's a place in LA called The Grove. Okay. Uh, the Grove has a place that is called the farmer's market and it's a place in which everybody go and it's like the farmer's market. And I used to sit down in a corner and I, one of the games that I used to do, because, you know, acting, you're like imitating life, right? Yeah, or life yeah. is imitating your the art. I mean, I don't know what comes first or second. It's a combination, uh, you yeah. know? It's a combination. So it's such a good question. Thank you. I knew that you had to jump in, you see? <laughs> I had uh, to. Yeah. So, um, so I remember for hours and hours, I, I, I could never be bored. I would just go there and I would sit down and I would be like, okay, they're married. Um, they've been <laughs> married for three years. Uh, oh, they have a child. Oh, it's running. I was like, oh, yeah. I, so I'm like obsessed with that game. <laughs> obsessed. I mean, you know what I mean? It's just like, and then you're like, they're like, oh, oh, they're not together. Oh, oh, they really don't like each other. <laughs> it's, like, so, it's like the coolest game ever. I mean, yeah. because you, you get to really see people. And another thing I love about New York is the Central Park. And, and Central Park is all about that. You know, oh, it's yeah. like, it's, 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 you see people come and go. Another great place for that is the airport. Oh the airport. God. I know, yeah. It's like, especially when your plane is delayed, you're just there like this. <laughs> yeah. And then you just like see people in and out and you get to see so many behavioral people, ways to kind of interact with each other. Some people lose patience and some person just have a baby and can't handle it anymore. <laughs> just take out of the plane. It's like taken, the, <laughs> take the, it away. The so funniest just, thing to me is like just the, that, the seat of people that are like so tired. They're just like laid out on the floor, no matter <laughs> where it is. They're just like, you know, I just can't out. do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like I just can't. So I yeah. love that. I love I love seeing people in all kinds of levels. I, I love. I I just I, you know I love this I love I love this whole thing it's 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 just fun and and yes I watch them I, and some, most of the time especially with this whole pandemic I don't know whether we're imitating life or life is imitating us or I I don't know I I'm very like it's it's just such a mystery to me right yeah it really is yeah now things are so you know so scary you know it's hard to get back into the into yeah the real world you know. Yeah, like I, yeah, I just got back in from Germany when all this happened, so I kind of feel like I haven't been settled yet. So, oh my god, yeah. oh my god, yeah. Well, 
you know, uh, you're here and you're settled and you're safe and you've been working a lot <laughs> while singing and dancing. So yeah. um, I'm very excited to go back to work and I'm very excited to go back to see what this, um, what the story, where it's going to take us after this whole pandemic because yeah. the writers have been writing and, and I'm very curious to see how they are going, how we're going to go back to what kind of world we're going to now put out yeah. there. So that's um, you know, pretty interesting. Cool. It would have to influence, you know, the writing, you know, so. I, 100%. I mean, I told them we need to write something about a toilet paper. I mean, <laughs> we, have, yeah. we have to say, where's the That's toilet true. paper? Like, I, I remember, like, you know, just praying to God, like, please let me find something in Walmart today. <laughs> me too. I'm like, there's no toilet paper at 9 in the morning. Not okay. <laughs> Yeah. Like everybody just went to the store at seven thirty and just took the toilet paper. Not okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, these are like first world problem. And then China is the same. And then everywhere is the same. Running out of toilet paper. <laughs> Why do people worry so much about toilet paper? Like we can all take showers. Worst case scenario. Right. Like really. Yeah. <laughs> we can it, keep everything clean. It, it was just like funny. That's the first thing that everybody bought up, and it was just yeah. It's the bathroom. The bathroom is yeah. everything. Number one and number two. It's like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let the zombies arrive. I just want to have enough toilet paper. I was like, wow. Yeah. That's like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like... It it's just like, it goes to tell you our human... <laughs> Yeah. Our our yeah. our instincts of survival is like number two. <laughs> it's like great. We want to be covered whenever yeah. number two happens. <laughs> so it's, this it's, is uh, great. This is great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for being part of this. This is like I had to have a laugh. So thank yeah. you for thank that. Thank you for taking taking my life. And I just wanted to say that you know this community here is awesome and it's always like positive. And you know I know you're. A, famous actress but you kind of just make us all feel like you know you're our friend then i you know and yeah I, we all i know i know that i appreciate that and i'm sure everybody else appreciates what you do thank you thank you we are thank family you. and that's the most important one <laughs> thank you for taking on thank you bye ciao. ciao this is awesome this is awesome yeah number two you guys very important in the apocalypse. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. I want to say this. I don't want to take too much time. Thank you for being so special. Thank you for being part of this great, great. I feel like I said this so many times already, but um, it's never too late uh, to tell you that you're appreciated. Uh, thank you for being so special, so special. Each one of you is a different, beautiful world. Um, big kisses to you from my heart to yours. Um, happy Friday. Stay home, stay strong, and stay safe. Big kisses. I'm saving this for sure. <laughs> Bye.